Okay. I'm trying to see. Okay. But that sounds good. Uh, it's Myco here. And uh, focus on some new gizmos. I put away the paint. Oh, God, a bunch of paint supplies and stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna. I've always been fascinated with. Uh, uh, optical illusions and making them. I uh, never have really made many or tried many, but I watched some videos of how to's. But I got my own ideas about how to. So let me just start out. I'm, I'm going to start out with uh, Johnson. I want to make a triangle here because all the how to's that I've you know this there's this uh, one that's a triangle that is a impossible type triangle and, uh, and let's see if I can measure off a uh, decent distance I'll make it two inches up above the bottom of the paper here. <laughs> Expect me to be kind of clumsy here for a little while because I'm used to doing things my own way. Okay. Now, I know that this thing starts out as if I can try or triangle, pardon me, I have to start watching my language. Um, okay, we'll make it four inches, four inch triangle. So we'll mark off two inches each from the center, okay? And, uh, and drag our four inch. Uh, up to the center, which, boy, I just barely made it, didn't I? Okay. Okay, so now we got, and I think it's called an isosceles, isn't that the one? It's a triangle, it's an no, equilateral triangle. I don't know. Geometry was never my forte. Okay, we know we have, we know we use a, a triangle, but, it's a triangle within a triangle within a triangle. So I'm going to make some more triangles. Right. Try to make them as, about as even as possible as far as the thickness. And that's here to here, like I just didn't do. What I said I was going to do, and this is a little fatter, but uh, it'll work out. Right. Go for perfection. We're just going for the get the illusion. Now we're going to need another triangle with a mountain. So do trying to make them the same thickness again. We should have a little triangle left in the center if we did things right. So, uh, yeah, we did things right. Okay, now, now I have to figure out which one of the, which of the lines we have to erase, okay? Okay, now, we know that this thing ends, ends up with the edges, ends of each of the out, outer triangle cut off. Lop off the edges like so. Okay, now. Artists most use tool. Get the eraser in, take away the pointy parts of the triangles. That's my eraser noise. Press on the track crap. Okay. Now we got that. Okay, now. There's going to be 
three L's. Each one makes an L. Okay, so we've got to decide which one's where. Okay, so we'll have an L here. This one, yes, so is that what I'm looking to do? Yeah, I think go over the edge like that, and make that it. No, 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 we'll go to here. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, this one, this L will have to be. This L will be for <laughs> to here. <laughs> this L. So that one means that this myself. three L's. Wow. Okay. Kind of define them here a little bit. Just shake them off. Got the fancy stuff. I always use a brush when you, when you use an uh, eraser uh, so you don't smudge all the crap up. Fingers will smudge things and you can use your fingers for when you want to smudge stuff. Like uh, when you're shading something, things like that. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Okay. Okay, one of these will be just a white surface. One of them will be a medium gradient. Um, one will be dark. We'll do this one dark down here. We'll do that. Make it the darkest of the three. Doesn't really matter which ones. 
but it helps the illusion if there's a uh, shading going on. I've noticed. And then I'll make a lighter shade on so this one here. Just kind of loose. These pencils are just great. Uh, they're, um, I don't know if you can see, uh, bring it up here. See if we can focus a little bit on something different. It's, uh, there's no paper or no wood. It's all graphite. It's, uh, this is an HB, I believe. Yeah, HB2. Um, they make all different kinds, and they are awesome to play with. I mean, they're great for drawing. And uh, plus, you're not killing trees. I kind of like that part of it. To um, ah. <laughs> they break just as just like regular pencils. Okay, I'm gonna lightly change this one. Before I got distracted there. If I keep doing this um, voiceover th thing on my channel, um, you're gonna notice that I screw things up a lot. And, up for it in kind of weird ways sometimes. Okay, now there we go. We got the got the dang thing illusioned. And I hardly hardly broke any bones. Can darken edges here to uh probably should ink them in actually but all my inks and the other end of the studio boom I just don't feel like getting up going there and be a pause in the action and this is just an opening recording here just to see if I see if I'm even going to publish it you know what I mean this is an experiment my an audition. Okay, get the ah ah. <laughs> okay, I gotta keep from saying f bombs and stuff a lot. I can tell. I bit my tongue half off already this morning. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's as good as it's going to get. I keep messing up because I'm trying to angle my, all my stuff in a direction that's not used to being angled. Okay, well, there we go. That's that triangle gizmo. Oh, most people, most of the how-tos that I've seen, they start off with an L and a weird shape. They're, they'll say, oh, make a, make a three, make an L shape, and, uh, and then you, you make it uh, a three-dimensional L by going like this, and uh, like this, and like this, and then you... Have to hope that your lines line up here, and oops, they don't. And so you end up having to make all, everything all different and rearrange everything. And it's one way to do it, you know. But and, you know, it's just like a hard way of getting to. A, I mean, a, clearly as a triangle, you know, somewhere. So that's why I just thought I'd take a gamble and go triangle first and then triangle inside a triangle and then triangle inside that and uh, I'll be damned if it didn't work <laughs> oh put my name on it K-O okay and, uh, that's that okay Let's see how this flies Later, gang.